There are two ways of making a bike go faster. One of them, which is the obvious one, which most people concentrate on, is to add more power. A new pipe, engine mapping, you know the kind of thing. The second way, which a lot of people ignore, but which is actually just as important, is to add lightness. Now, I've been told that the best way of doing that, the best way of removing weight from the bike, is to look at your wheels, those big, round, reciprocating things which have a lot of gyroscopic forces. So, you might remember a couple of weeks ago, we were at the BST factory looking at how they made carbon wheels. They've invited us down here to Red Star and they've brought a shiny new set of wheels for this Triumph to let me see actually how much difference it makes. So, I'm going to head out, do a few laps on these, on these original wheels, and then we're going to fit the carbon wheels. Let's see if it really does make a difference. After 6,000 glorious kilometres on my long-term Triumph Speed Triple, I know exactly how it feels, but any excuse to put a few more laps in. A quick half hour, and there you go, a set of the most beautiful carbon fibre wheels. Straight back out onto the track to see if I can notice any difference at all. Okay, well, I've done a few laps on the new wheels. Now, I'm no track rider, which is evident by the action you've just seen. But even I can tell uh, there's a difference in the turning. The bike just seems to want to turn in much easier. Now, Chris here is from BST. You saw him changing the wheels earlier for me. So that's obviously one of the benefits. What other benefits can you expect to find from a set of these wheels? Yeah, well, look. The, 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 it can be quite subtle, the, the effects mm. um, you find, but, but really your, your engine is turning your wheels, so you're reducing the weight of your wheels, so your engine can turn your wheels quicker, so you can accelerate quicker. OK. Uh, you can also brake quicker, because you've reduced the mass. So there's less mass for the, for the brake to stop rotating. Yeah, exactly. So you can accelerate quicker and brake quicker. So as you're pushing the envelope more, you'll find you can brake a lot later into corners, and you can get onto the power get the power down a, a lot easier and a lot quicker mm. than you would do on a set of OEM wheels. So how exactly does that work then? What, 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 what that factor of these wheels makes mm. that possible? Well, this, you, the, 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 obviously the, the reduction in weight, mm. firstly, but then you've got your weight is, is centralised to, to the hubs. Yeah. Um, so the, your, your actual mass on the outside of the rim is, is greatly reduced. So you're also reducing inertia. Um, OK. So what you'll find... Again, especially once you're going faster and, and you're pushing the envelope and you're flicking through corners, you'll find the, the way that the bike will move through the corners. It's a lot easier to overcome the inertia of the, the wheel turning. You know, if you've ever held something that spins, you'll feel, you know, that inertia. Yeah, it's a force, yeah. Exactly. So with the, 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 the rim being ultra-light, the weight centralised, you're overcoming all those elements. So in terms of performance, you're, you know, enhancing the performance of your machine by just a bolt-on wheel. OK. Yeah, that's incredible. Look, lightness is good, but doesn't lightness also mean weaker? No, not at all. <laughs> is that... I mean, carbon fibre is super strong. I mean, it's a, a, an amazing strong material. Mm. The way these are, are, are manufactured, the, the process makes such a strong wheel. They're, they're incredible. The testing processes, I mean, they're sold through Europe, through America. The, the, the Japanese market is one of the most stringent markets in, in terms of testing. Um, I've watched them drop up to, to up to nearly 500 kgs on these wheels in testing. And, and the, the carbon fibre, not only is it strong, but it's flexible. So as this weight comes crashing down on these beautiful wheels, the, the, it's a, it will have a tyre on with, mm. with, with air at the, the normal kind of operating um, pressures. Yeah. It will bend and push the carbon down and actually splinter the carbon. But it pops back up. It retains pressure okay. in the tyre. Sure. Which is, if you put a, an aluminium wheel onto the same test rig, as that weight comes down, it deforms the rim, the air escapes, the rim stays deformed. You know, so yeah. re really, you're looking at something that's uh, even safer than a... So it is a safety factor wheel. as well. Yeah, no, no, for sure, yeah. 
here's the crunch question. Mm. What are we paying for a set of these rims? It depends on, on, on the rim, on the bike, if it's offset. Yeah. It, I mean, it, it really does depend. OK, so, but let's say for this bike, what are we looking at for this? So, so this bike, you're probably looking at around 30,000 rand. 30,000. Look, it, it's not cheap, but... A set of OEMs is not far off of that. Well, this is a they good are. point. So you're actually getting a performance uh, yeah. benefit. Okay. And let's, not, let's face it, they look spectacular. Well, they look yeah. So and if you're eking out the, 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 the last bit of performance, if you're trying to get the extra second or two mm. um, a, around a track somewhere, this is, this is something that's going to help you. This is, this yeah. is basically a bolt-on part. It's a bolt-on part. You're not pulling engines apart. You're not making something you know, f higher tuned and less mm. reliability yeah. you're putting together something that is really going to help you uh, on the track and i tell you what on the road if you put a set of these on the road um you're not necessarily riding fast but swap back to your oems and feel the difference really you're going to notice it that's where the subtleties are yeah they are so yeah uh, well we'll have to have a look at that in uh, in a couple of weeks time once i've ridden these on the road for a couple of weeks that's all from uh, the bst feature after the break we're coming back with a bike which is just about the same price as a set of these wheels. <laughs> 